Hello, Wheeling High School students. My name is Mr. Hanrahan, and today is going to be an introduction to accessing today's science to look at a variety of scientific topics for independent research projects. So from the Wheeling homepage, I think it's a good idea to go to academics and then library. And if at any point in this video, if you need to rewind or pause it and things like that, you could uh, do that to refresh and get a reminder about the steps. My name's on the screen over here. I'm Mr. Hanrahan. We also have Mr. Davis that can assist you in the library. And today we're going to go down to research 214 library resources to get access to a database. So from this page, you can see there's a list of resources and databases, and we're going to click on research right here. And when you click on research, you get a list of databases. We're going to talk about today's science. That's this one right here. And uh, this database is one that you probably need to log in with your net ID and password. So it's your first initial, your last name, no last four digits, the same way you log in to uh, your infinite campus. So I had a typo. So because I had that typo, it wouldn't let me access that database. But when I typed it incorrectly, here I am. So for your nanotechnology class, one of the important things to can consider is get an idea about different topics. So from the Today's Science database, this webpage, you're getting access from D214 up here. You can make your profile. I, I didn't make one. I'm not going to use one today, but if you wanted to, you could make one. From this menu over here on the side, I think we should go through topics, conversations with scientists, and research topics. When you click on topics, it's going to give you a wide range of different topics and you can see them over on the side over here too and right now uh, we're looking at all the topics but if you wanted to narrow it down and you're curious about any of these topics you could do that by clicking on the side or you can browse through the list and you can see astronomy in space has these subtopics and if i was interested in properties of light in space there's now 45 different short articles about different properties of astronomy and in space. And they're organized in the newest ones at top, on the top. And when you opened one after browsing through, you could actually go through maybe all 45. And I'm doing this relatively quickly right now by just glancing at the titles. But you may want to read this first sentence introduction. Some of these may be multiple pages and you may have to hit load more and you could browse through these. And some of them have older dates, like 2006. But I can also go back up to the top to some of the newer ones. What are cosmic lighthouses? It's a good idea that I cite this article and I'm glad it reminded me of that. We're going to use uh, APA to cite our articles. Uh, after glancing at this one and looking at the pictures, reading some of these captions, looking at the barred spiral galaxy and reading this, this is not, this is me browsing through it, skimming it. It also has these discussion questions and then other information to look at and a bibliography, which I think is a good source of information. And it has a group of keywords down here for me. And one of them was one of those uh, titles. You could even go like this and copy this out. Oh, and I can also undo with three fingers. So it's giving me like little reminders and stuff like that. So if I was interested in this article and I, I'm doing this quickly, but it would be a way to scan it. Once I've decided that this is a article that I want to save to my Google Drive or I want to keep, I like to get the citation first 
So I click the cite button. It's this one right here to get a citation. And for science class, we're gonna use APA. And it then tells me that uh, it's generated by EasyBib. And for right now, I would just copy the whole citation and we can worry about the details later about cleaning up your reference page. But I would copy it over to the clipboard. Just use the buttons on the screen or you could highlight it too and pick APA and you could try to copy it like this, right? And uh, you could then hit copy like this, but I just hit the copy button in the corner. And then I would put it in my Google Drive in a nano keyword or references doc. And I would uh, paste it in then. You could paste it by just holding here, right? And then pasting, or you could use your keyboard to do command V. Uh, and I'll worry about the hanging and then and cleaning that up later, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take those citations from the database. If you all, you also probably want to save it to your Google Drive as like a PDF. Um, some of these buttons work better than others, but on the iPad, I have found that the upward share button in the corner up here and clicking um, print will give you this print menu. And if you pinch to widen or expand that picture, it'll actually make a PDF. And this one's now 11 pages of the full text doc. It includes the uh, keywords at the bottom and the other uh, bibliography and things like that. But if you wanted to copy these out separate, you could put these in your doc too. But when you have the PDF, it's a good idea to then hit the up arrow again and hit your drive. And now that file will go in my D214 folder that I select from the bottom and then my drive. And I already have a nano folder that I've made previously. Ms. Bouvier will kind of work this out with you. And I hit save here and then hit upload. Um, it still had that selection on the screen. So I could go into my Google Drive and see that doc right here. I actually saved more than one of them. Um, it'd be a good idea to maybe rename that titles from the Some, some keywords from the title, maybe, to rename it. And if it's in your nano folder, that should like help it be easy to locate for you. So in this database, I've shown you how to uh, find things in topics here, but also um, shown you how to uh, cite it with this button and to hit the up sharing arrow in the corner, hit print, but you're not really printing it, you're just using that to turn it into a PDF because some of the buttons like Google Drive don't always work right. So I use the print button, expand, like pinch and expand that image, hit the up arrow to share, and then send it to Google Drive. There are a couple other features on this website that I like a lot. The conversations with scientists is also good. You could take the ideas you got from the topics and use this sidebar over here to try to find more. So I'm gonna follow the same pattern. Like I was curious about astronomy in space. Here's an alphabetical list and it has little sub topics like underneath the person's name. You're not expected to know these scientists, but it gives you modern scientists in the last couple of decades or decade or so who are observing things and doing research and you can um, look at somebody who's looking at uh, biddable planets, uh, Borucki, William Borucki. So you could read this to get inspired. A lot of them connect to the real world. Some are longer or shorter than others. You can use the same citation tool to get APA. You could do the up arrow, hit print and expand it and then send that to your Google Drive. And then finally, I also think these research topics are kind of interesting too. And it looks at a collection of articles as a way to start off your research. And this is an A to Z list and you'd have to hit load more to get some ideas from this list. But it's also much shorter, um, but you could do the same thing if you were to click on one of these, once again, focusing on astronomy. 
you could read this uh, little intro at the top, pick one of these that you're either interested in or want to know more about, and go through that same process to cite it, copy the citation in APA, and uh, do the share print option to um, put it in your Google Drive. So that's an intro to today's science. Hope that helps you out.